What's up everyone, this is Edward from Carbide3D with another Carbide Create Pro screencast. Uh, in this one we're going to do a little bit of design work. And to start out with, um, well first of all we have, we have Pro enabled right now. You can tell because there's a tab up here that says Model. And we have our modeling resolution set to very high. Half inch thick piece of material and Let's get started. So I'm going to go to the library and I'm going to pick, uh, I'm going to pick one of these stars actually. And I'm just sort of making this up as we go here. So um, let's scale this star. So it's Ten inches and let's make a box that's twelve by twelve. Now we can use the alignment tools and uh, center align those. And done. Okay, now I'm going to do an offset. Uh, so that's going to offset this shape a quarter of an inch to the inside. I'm going to add some text. You know, because I'm going to make myself an award. Here we go. So alignment tools, and I want to make sure those are all, there we go, horizontally aligned. All right, that looks pretty good. Uh, actually, let's make this text just a little bit bigger. So it gets, there we go. Okay, done. Now we're going to go into the model tab. And first thing I usually do is select the outside profile and I create a flat component, the thickness of the material. So I'm going to say flat and we're using half inch material. So half inch and we're adding. And this is what we end up with. Okay. Now if I select this inside, uh, the square that we offset to the inside, and I go back to shape. I'm going to select a flat, and I'm going to select, uh, actually I'm going to put in a quarter of an inch here. I'm going to name this the pocket, and I'm going to subtract. And you're going to see that's what it looks like. So we just cut out that inside shape uh, a quarter of an inch. All right, now I'm going to select this star and go back to shape. And I'm going to show you this in preview mode. So it defaults to a flat with a height of an inch. Uh, I actually want to change this to a round. And click apply to show you what it's going to look like. But you can see that that's, w that's way too big. We would need like a inch and a half thick piece of material to make that big of a, a big of a star. So we could limit the height and just say it can only be a quarter of an inch. And then you'll see what happens here. Basically starts to create this shape this component. And then once it gets to a quarter of an inch, you can see that that would be even with these, with the wall. Uh, it just flattens the top out. So that's an option for our plaque. Uh, but I think I'm going to use the scale height and just say, hey, scale this shape um, so it's a maximum of a quarter of an inch without flattening out the top. So that's what it looks like. So I'm going to hide 3D, click done. For the text, you can select both of these 
and we're going to go back to shape. And I'm going to show this in 3D so you see what's going on. So it defaults to a flat, and we could keep it like this. Um, and just say that we're going to cut it a quarter or an eighth of an inch deep. And it would basically just pocket that text right into the right into that 3D star. Uh, I actually think a better effect would be a round and subtract. It's going to yeah place all that text right right on the star and sort of pocket it out with a round bottom. So that's it for this one. In the next one, we're going to create some toolpaths, and I'll show you guys how to actually export these files uh, to cut them on your machine. See you then.